Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Teaching Partner. Today I brought a very sensitive and very important topic which is brain-based learning. In the past two decades, neuroscience research has proven that the traditional classroom is not as stimulating for a student's learning as it could be. Enter brain-based learning, an innovative approach to education based on scientific research. It involves a teaching method that limits lectures and encourages exercise breaks, team learning and peer teaching. Let's understand more about it. When information is presented in effective ways, the brain is able to function better, its resilience is increased and its overall working intelligence is improved. Research has also shown that the brain physically changes while learning. Thus, the newer skills are practiced, the easier learning becomes. What are the objectives of the brain-based learning? Brain-based learning specifically focus on reducing stress, effectively delivering material, in increasing students' movement and building in opportunities to practice. While the principles remain the same, no matter the age of the students, people do begin to learn differently as they mature. So the delivered methods of these principles adapt accordingly. Let's discuss the principle the more active and engaged students are physically the better than learning outcomes they require more the midday recess or a walk between classes allowing students to take walking breaks during lessons and throughout the day for example revitalizes students increase their attention span and better prepares them to retain information some of the principles as followed number one positive emotions the happier students are, the more they are willing to learn and think effectively. Affirmations from the teacher are one way to raise students' self-esteem. Number two, group work. Working in teams with classmates allows students to learn from one another. This helps them retain information they may not have accepted or understood from the teacher. Number three, peer teaching. When a student teach material to their peers, it helps them to retain that same information. This can be done in small groups or through presentations. Number four, practice. Learning through repetition and trial and error is more effective than simple memorization. Students will gain a better understanding of the subject through practice rather than just memorizing the details. Number four, limited lectures. According to the research, only five to 10% of information is retained during a lecture, making lesson largely discussion-based promotes student learning. Let's talk about the benefits of brain-based learning. Number one, health. According to the recent research, this approach promotes health and exercise, boosting the overall fitness and wellness of a student. Better psyches. Positive affirmation and limited criticism helps students feel good about themselves and view themselves in a positive manner. Number three, cooperation. The more group work students do, the more they learn how to cooperate and compromise. Number four, improved memory. Overall brain-based learning helps students build their memories and retention. The peer teaching principle in particular leads to increased memorization and understanding of information. How can we apply brain-based learning principles in our classroom? Many classroom applications, for example, both verbal and written information can be included in the lesson, which boosts retention. Hands-on activities can be created, such as providing students with physical clock, clocks to learn time. Another application is modeling assignment and real-world challenges the students experience. For example, when teaching about percentages, a shopping activity can be set up. Each item could be on sale and the student challenged to calculate the sale price before they can be rewarded with it. This helps them learn problem solving and critical thinking all in one activity. There are so many brain-based learning activities which I would like to share with you. For example, fearless feedback, connections, bridges, spaced learning. I'm writing it down in the description section as I don't want to make this video very long. If you need more activities and more information and more support in this regard, don't hesitate to write down on my email. My email is also given in the description. Thank you for your time. I hope you enjoyed the video. Take care of yourself. See you in the next video. Goodbye.